How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Boss is back, and today we are talking about another what if video. And today, what if Snoke was in Star Wars for Serena? Now, that's one that I know I've had some people request, and some people jokingly request. Um, I thought it was gonna be a tough one, but a lot of things kind of made it clear to what I would think personally. Uh, what would make him fit in Force Arena? Um, obviously, Snoke is a character we all don't know too, too much. And the mystery, I kind of like the mystery. I'm fine with the mystery with Snoke. But uh, I feel like it's a dark time right now for Star Wars fans. All around the world, really. But, we're going to delve into some dark side here. And talk about Snoke. Now... We don't know too much about Snoke, but my ideas for Snoke in <sighs> my daughter just knocked on the door. All right, so this ugly mug in Stars for Serena, whew, think he could be pretty badass. Um, for his base stats, level one, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with at least eight eight hundred fifty HP. Now the reason why I chose 850 HP, uh, we don't know how like how weak or strong he is. Really, we know he got. You know, we know what happened in the movie. Not gonna get into it, but uh, I'm thinking 850 is a decent amount. It's not too overpowered, not too underwhelming. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 850, I feel like is a reasonable. Uh, HP for this guy as you can tell he's been through a lot. What has he been through? We don't know But uh, he's definitely still powerful um, For attack power uh, In DPS, I'm gonna go with around like the 78 attack power dealing that one 131 about um, DPS uh, Now we were probably wondering oh so what is he going to use to attack? What What is he fighting with? Now, I could easily say he uses lightning. Zap, zap. But we already have someone on the dark side uses lightning as their way of uh, attack. So we're not going to go with lightning. And uh, we haven't seen him wield a sword. So we don't know how he fights using a sword. His stances, his uh, motions, you know, we don't know. So... Well, this is what I came up with, and this is what I think would fit him a lot better. Now, seeing in the films that he was actually able to use the force to to physically push people around, hit them, I was thinking he would be more of hitting people without actually touching them physically. He would just swoosh the force in front of him, kind of like in the motion of a lightsaber. Uh, he's not going to be a distant fighter. I mean, he kind of can be uh, with his skill. But I'll talk about his skill in just a second. Um, so yeah, he would use the force as to, to hit people. Maybe he pick a, picks up uh, dirt, gravel from the ground and just uses it to attack. Bam, just throws, just throws things. So he could be ranged. Just... Not at a crazy range. Don't want that range to be crazy. So if he was to, uh, I would say his range would be like a, like a five. Yeah, that's pretty short, but five would be just fine. It's not like he's hurling rocks. Maybe it would just be using the force to attack people, um, which I think would be pretty cool. And he doesn't really need to do much. He can just be like maybe floating around, just swooshing his hands back and forth. Just bam, bam, bam. Um... So maybe that'll pick up his DPS. I don't know. We'll have to really go deep into that. Uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, yeah. So his skill. Let's let's see here. Oh, okay. That's that's not skill. That's just someone. He's elite. That's the wrong image, boss. Wrong image. <laughs> um, okay. Bam. There we go. This is super blurry. Gotta pause about that, but we know this is when he uses the lightning, he bounces it off the ground, shoots up, sending Ray flying back, and we're like, whoa, that's some power right there. I was thinking his skill would be something like that. He would just use a bolt lightning to not only deal damage, but then also, also push those that he hits further back. 
So if it's like a Wookiee warrior, sure, it won't kill him in one hit, but it'll send him flying back a few feet, you know, a few feet, actually like pretty far back, send him far back, kind of like 40th, uh, 40th anniversary Luke does with his uh, pushback, uh, except instead of a bubble, it will just be whatever's in front of him, uh, whatever gets hit by his lightning, which I think would make sense and would work perfectly fine with me. Um, Dealing uh, damage, whew, uh, I would say at least 400% his his uh, his attack power. So it'll be a decent amount of damage, but not enough to take down a Wookiee Warrior. More more than likely to take down, sorry, some um, some Rebel soldiers or any light infantry uh, on the ground. So let's go ahead and move over to Bayam. Another blurry aspect. I'm sorry, guys. These these pictures aren't the best. Yeah, but you know, it's just, it's just the idea, it's the thought of what we're talking about here. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, what I forgot. I keep forgetting how they called. You guys know how they're called. You guys were saying. All right, I'm gonna call him his his red guards. <clears throat> Victorian guards. Victorian guards. Right, that's what they're called. See, guys, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. But anyways, yes. Um, I was thinking. You know what? I don't want it to be like Palpatine had two red you know, guards, <laughs> Petrian guards. I don't want, or you know, like uh, the royal guards, the imperial royal, whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyways, I don't want just two. What if just all of them, all five of these guys? Uh, I would say each with their kind of different stats I uh, I would have to say it's gonna be difficult but uh, I would say some of them would be a little bit tankier and some of them will be more DPS so the tankier ones will deal uh, especially with the longer swords or axe um, they will deal a wide attack you know like a um, no, I won't say splash damage, but just like kind of like arcing attack that will deal damage to multiple units in front of them. Um, but they also would be slow, which I think would be cool. Um, well, I mean, speed wise, they'll move the same speed, but uh, attack wise, they'll move a little slower. And obviously, the energy cost for them would have to be a lot higher. Um, I don't want them to be killed by just one airstrike, so they have to be. Strong enough to withstand an airstrike, but not too strong will where it wouldn't really affect him too much. Um, I think that would be pretty awesome. Uh, it's it's going to be hard to give these guys exact DPS and stats. Uh, this is something I would have to really go deep, deep to go into it. Um, but I think it would, they would work perfectly with him. Um, I would say follow Snoke, but then I'm afraid that it will be a little bit... Um, a little weird. Actually, now I remember why I put that other picture. Now, this picture, you know, he's like commanding. Um, I was thinking, if you have it for his um, passive, which would be cool for me, I, I thought, I don't know about you guys, if Snoke dies while his Praetorian guards are on the battlefield, they will gain a damage boost and like 10% health. Uh, not not extra health, but just if they're wounded, they'll gain 10% extra. Uh, I just said they'll gain 10% of their health, of their loss health back, and uh, or more, who knows? Uh, um, but they'll deal more damage. They'll kind of go into a rage and fight. Uh, maybe maybe just their attack speed will go uh, a lot faster. Uh, not really dealing damage wise, but they'll just be faster. Maybe even move faster, which would be really cool. I thought that would have been. A brilliant idea I forgot that picture was for that but yeah um, so yeah each guard is gonna be different um, so we'll have the ones with like I said with the longer uh, axe swords you know dealing uh, slow like you know like arcing damage or slow moving nothing too crazy um, and the other ones probably moving a little quicker maybe having more range with the whips and stuff like that I think would be really cool um, sounds really awesome, but I could I could definitely see it happening. Um, but yeah, that's gonna end it right now for this quick what if. This is a quick what if, guys. This is a quick one. 
Sorry. It's taking me so long. But I'm going to get on these. Make more of these. Because these are fun. And of course I had to do Snoke. Um, I know you guys have been asking me to do a lot more. So remind boss again down there in the comments below. Let him know what do you guys what do you guys want to see. Um, did, I, did I miss anything? Did I? I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, as my daughter cries. <laughs> uh, gee, maybe if I miss anything, just let me know in the comments comment section down below okay i hope you guys really enjoyed this though this is a lot of fun i really enjoy these but as always you know what time it is peace